welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video about a little story which I've never done before. So we're going to do start doing maybe some travel story times about some things that have happened to me in my travels. And today we're going to talk about something that happened to me while I was in Madrid in Spain a few months ago. I'm going to try to be as quick and short as possible and not drag the story out too long. But basically I got pickpocketed while I was traveling in Spain. The very last week that I was in Spain, I decided to go to the art museum, I believe it was the Prado Museum, in a pretty touristy part of Spain, and I was by myself that evening. It was a pretty busy evening. I had a backpack with me, this exact uh, backpack that I carried with me, and I took this to the museum and I had to check this bag in while I was at the art museum. So I strolled in the art museum. I went that day because it was free admission on a Tuesday evening. I had my bag with me, but I also had different amounts of currency with me in this backpack. So I did have a couple of different um, pockets or wallets rather that had different amounts of money in them. So shortly after, about an hour or two, I decided to leave the art museum. I was completely by myself. And so when I'm by myself, I'm usually on my phone because I'm looking up Google map directions and I'm also listening to music. So I have to admit that my guard was somewhat down and I wasn't as attentive as I should have been. So when I left the art museum, I got my bag back and what I did was I stuck, I took out all the wallets that I had and put them back into this backpack. Now, as you can see, this backpack has also has an inner pocket here. So I remember sticking these type of three of these type of wallets because one had euros, the other one had American currency, and one just had a lot of coins and other like uh, little knickknacks that I because I never put all of my money in one place. So I have like three wallets, but I ended up putting them in here in this pocket here, and then zipping it up and zipping my entire bag back up before I left. I was on my phone, looking up directions, looking down at my phone, listening to music, trying to GPS my next location. So I was walking by myself because on this particular evening I was completely alone, strolling the city alone at like maybe, I wanna say around Tuesday evening. And as I was walking, I really wasn't paying attention to my surroundings, but I was mainly like consumed by my phone trying to make sure I was following directions to my next destination. And I was, I remember I was trying to go from the Prado Museum to Plaza España or something like that. And so I had hopped on the subway. And immediately when I got on the subway station or the metro, this girl speaks to me in Spanish and I couldn't understand what she was saying. She just tapped me on the shoulder. And at first, like, I felt so stupid because she kept pointing to my backpack. So I thought that she was like trying to ask me where I got my bag from. Like, as conceited as that sounds, I was like, oh, I got it from the US. Um, but she wasn't trying to ask me where I got my bag from. She was trying to get my attention because she was like, do you speak English? And I was like, yes. And she said, your bag is completely unzipped. So I immediately, I, it took me a minute to register what she was telling me, but I looked behind me because my bag was on my back and I had just hopped on the metro station. The doors had not even closed yet because there was an issue with the train station that day. And when I looked behind me, my entire bag was open, just like this. And I remember, I, sh I, I am pretty damn sure that I had zipped it all the way around like this when I had left the art museum. So within a span of 10 minutes, you know, standing there, walking through the metro, walking through the streets by myself, and finally getting on the train, someone immediately taps me and tells me my bag is completely unopened. And when I looked, this zipper was also unopened. So this zipper wasn't open and all of these things in here, I have these same two things in here, were just kind of like slopping out like this when I opened my bag. I hopped off the train before the doors even closed because there were some technical difficulties with the Metro that day. And I was sorting, I was frantically trying to account for everything that should have been in the bag. Now mind you, I had one of these type of wallets in my pocket of my jeans that had all of my euros in cash with me. So I had that wallet. I also have this mirror case that is strictly for cards and it's kind of an RFID wallet where it doesn't, um, it kind of prevents against theft. So I had like a few of my credit cards in there but nothing extremely important. It was just kind of there and they did not take this. But they did take another one of these type of size wallets and what I had in that wallet was about $200 worth of US money. And the reason why I had this on me 
it's really dumb. I just, I usually don't take that much cash with me, but for some reason that day, I, I just don't like leaving my cash at where I'm staying. I'd rather have it with me. And luckily that day, I left my passport and my other travel documents at home in my luggage. So I wasn't sure if I had forgotten that wallet at home. I was texting my friend like, hey, do you see my wallet at your place? I have no idea like if they took it. I think I just got jacked. Cause it just didn't make sense that I had just gotten the train. My bag was completely unopened, this pocket and this pocket. And when I went back to my friend's place, turns out my wallet's not there. So I went through all my things and I know for certain that that day I probably was being followed uh, while I was on my phone looking and not paying attention to my surroundings. And they might've been following me the whole time from when I left the uh, Prado Museum to when I watched the subway. And that thought is really freaky and really scary to think about as a solo traveler. And I wanted to share that story because I've never had that happen to me ever before in any place. And I've traveled to over 15 countries, some of them by myself. And I know that anywhere you go, you should watch your back, watch your surroundings, be smart, don't carry a lot of cash and valuables with you. Anything that looks flashy, try to keep that concealed because you don't want to be a target for any of these type of petty theft. But for some reason that day, I guess I was just kind of in the zone. I wasn't um, as alert as I should have been. And this happened to me and it can happen to anybody. So I was extremely mad at myself and very disappointed at the fact that I lost money that I couldn't really afford to lose at the time and it hurt really bad so the moral of the story is do not ever carry super valuable uh, documents with you I'm grateful and extremely lucky that I didn't lose my passport and the documents that I needed to leave Spain so make sure that you have copies uh, of your travel documents like your passports your visas and keep those in a place that is secure and make sure that all your pockets are secure. Even if you're carrying a backpack uh, from now on, I think I was just careless. I had just hopped on the Metro, but usually what I do is I swing my bag to the front and kind of hold it and hug it like this. And that way you're aware because it's kind of creepy to think that somebody was possibly following me and slowly unzipping my bag from one end to the other and was able to get into this inside pocket and grab one of my smaller wallets. So that's $200, that is adios. So make sure you keep your valuables secure, don't carry a lot of cash on you, be attentive, even if you're looking for directions on your phone, make sure that you're aware of your surroundings, look behind you, look beside you, be aware of who's around you, and don't listen to music too loud, because I tend to listen to music really loud because I'm like walking to my own soundtrack when I'm traveling, and that kind of like, what it does is it mutes the entire world away from me, which is nice, but it's bad if you're in a place where you need to watch your back. Oh gosh. I hope that everyone is able to travel safely, keep your belongings with you, be responsible, be alert, be on the lookout, watch your back, watch your family and friends back. And I hope that this never happens to anybody, so I just wanted to share that story. Um, currently, I'm trying to come up with some new video ideas and I'm gonna start doing these type of videos where I share stories with you through my travels that I think would be useful to people who have never traveled or are looking to travel and some of the travel concerns that we have when we are in a foreign place or in a different country. So if you have any video ideas for me that you would like me, questions that you would like answered, topics that you would like for me to talk about, or anything, um, I'm brainstorming ideas and I'm excited to kind of start posting videos consistently. So anything that you guys could offer, I greatly value your opinions and your ideas. If you can just pop them in the comment section below and let me know what you'd like to see from me. I love doing these videos, so this is all for you guys and just reminding myself of how to be more safe when I'm out and about. Um, also, thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I will be trying to post videos weekly. I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, guys.